Hello again, everybody. We're going to have another tech tip from the Widen Group Orthodontic Marketing Consultants here today. And today's tip is about using a pretty awesome, awesome website called PicMonkey. Here's their webpage right here, P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y. PicMonkey.com is a fantastic free tool that you can use to really add a lot of flavor and graphics and text directly onto the photos that you're uploading to your social media accounts. Now this is going to be less than five minute tutorial. There's so much to do on here, but I'm going to give you a really kind of 30,000 foot view uh, tutorial on it really quickly, and it'll really allow you to kind of help boost up all the photos that you post on there. So um, here we go. We're going to kind of get right into it here today too. So uh, I'm signed in under my account. I have a, uh, a Prime account with them, which is honestly a fantastic deal. It's $30 for the year, so it is extremely affordable. However, there are tons and tons of free uh, parts to this um, this website on here too that you can really help to, to use um, in addition to what's available for the Prime account. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to edit a photo and this is a photo that was uh, came along with some of our smile boxes last month that was one of the uh, sunglasses that we included in there. Great little promotion and what you could do is you could do a similar thing that uh, we did, take a picture of your own staff in these pictures and as opposed to just uploading the, the regular picture just like it is, which is great, add a little bit of flavor to it. So the first thing I'm going to recommend that you do to this picture is add your logo to it. So how you're going to do that, you're going to click on the little butterfly over here on the left hand side, and this allows you to add a whole lot of different um, graphics and pictures and icons and everything else, which we can get into another time. But what you're going to do is you're going to click on your own, and you're going to put your logo on this picture. Because what happens is if this thing gets retweeted, Facebook shared, repinned on Pinterest, you're going to want people to know exactly where this came from. So I'm going to float our logo up here, right in the upper right hand corner. And actually, since that's showing a little bit dark up against that green, I'm going to come over here on the right hand side, and I'm going to change the color of that. I'm going to make it white. So you can kind of float it all around in there and change the color of the image that you're going to put up there. And that way it really kind of pops out against that white, against that, uh, that green background there. So the next thing I'm going to do, which is kind of tell a little bit of the story here uh, as to what's going on, I'm going to make a tiny little text box down here on our picture. Put that right down over here. And it doesn't matter that it goes off of the edges. Let's just make sure that it'll, uh, it'll show up to everybody. And again, with this, you can also choose pretty much any color you want as far as how you want the, uh, the picture to look on the end. So I'm going to choose this pretty hot little pink here. And then I'm going to go back over here to my left hand side and choose some text. And there are tons and tons and tons of different fonts that you can use in here. So just kind of usually um, uh, you have a brand font or a type of font that you typically use on a lot of your, um, a lot of your graphics that you put out. Uh, stick with something simple. The harder it is to read, the more uh, somebody's going to have trouble looking at it. So try to keep it uh, pretty clean. So I'm going to choose just a little uh, a Playfair um, font right here. And then I'm going to float that right down through here over top of our pink text box right there. I'm going to make that font a little bit smaller. And then I can always boost it up from there. Okay, so I've got my text in there. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to make it white. And now I can really get in and bump up the size of it a little bit. And then just to kind of clean it up a little bit, I'm going to make that box a little bit smaller. Tuck that down here just a little bit. And then the last and final touch I'm going to do here is I'm just going to crop this thing down just a little bit so that that shows up right there along the bottom. And the very last two things we're going to do here uh, before we wrap it up today. So we're going to do two things. We're going to save this picture locally under our hard drive. And the big thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure and save this uh, with a file name, not just the name of the actual thing there. Um, so you're going to say smiles, smile box, teeth, however you want to do it. because. As we're going to show you in another video, 
posting things on your social media channels on Pinterest and everything and labeling them as the actual file and what's going on there is really going to help boost your SEO. So you'll save that locally to your computer. I'm not going to do it here, but you'll click save, save to your computer. But then the next thing you're going to do is click the share button up here. And since you're already probably signed into all of your different social media accounts, you go ahead and type in your story right there in this little comment box and tell how much you love whatever graphic is you're putting up there. Oh, we had so much fun playing with our social smile box. Or, oh, we really love the, the XYZ family that came in here this afternoon because they've been um, coming to us for 15 years and don't their smiles look great. So go ahead and post those directly to your social media accounts right directly from here. And you're going to go ahead and pin it directly onto your Pinterest board or right directly to your, your Twitter account as soon as you're, you're done there. So save it locally to your computer and then share it on your social media accounts as well too. So we'll come back to Pick Monkey another day and tell you a lot more of the great stuff that you can do with it. But for right now, have fun playing with it, and we can't wait to see your stuff through social media. Have a great day.